What's going on, NFL fans? Big Tuna here with you. Um, just want to say, I hope that I recorded it somewhere on one of my videos, but um, it might have been on the uh, preview show or the review show we did with myself and my Kel Sports, but I called it. I said that the Eagles were going to trade Carson Wentz to the Colts because if they had any love well, not love. If they had any respect for Carson Wentz, they know that Frank Reich and Carson Wentz had a great relationship together. Carson Wentz played his best football when Frank Reich was his offensive coordinator. So for the Colts, it was a no-brainer. Um, you know, they traded Carson Wentz, or they gave up a third-round pick this year and a conditional second-round pick next year. And honestly, if Carson Wentz is your quarterback for the next 10 years, that's like a, a, an easy trade. An easy trade. Um, you know, like I said, he's got history with the head coach. Um, the Colts need a quarterback. And in all honesty, I think this is a win-win for both Carson Wentz and the Colts. I think the Colts get a quarterback for... Relatively cheap for a guy that, you know, hasn't had the great last couple of years, but has the potential to be very good. And, you know, Carson Wentz gets to go and play on a team that plays indoors half of the year and is reunited with a coach where he had his best years with. So, honestly, it's a win-win for both the Colts and, uh, the, uh, and Carson Wentz. Um, on the other side, it's going to be interesting to see what the Eagles do. You know, I, I don't think Jalen Hurts is the answer, but you never know. Um, they might go after a quarterback this year uh, in the draft, but I just don't think that Jalen Hurts is the answer. Uh, I may be wrong, uh, you know, and, and that's fine because I'm not a I'm not a hater of Jalen Hurts. I enjoyed him in, in uh, college. Well, I enjoyed him until he beat the Bulldogs uh, in the SEC Championship when Tua got hurt, but that's another story. But, um, you know, overall, I just don't think Jalen Hurts is the answer for Philly. Um, who's the answer for Philly? Is it a draft pick? Is it a veteran? I don't know. Um, from a Raiders standpoint, uh, you know, if the Raiders try to pull the trigger on a Carson, on a Russell Wilson or um, Deshaun Watson trade, I mean, Derek Carr going to Philly would be, uh, they'd probably get some good draft capital for it. But, you know, that opens up, it opens up a lot of questions for Philly, in my opinion. And like I said, if, if Jalen Hurts is their guy, there is no question. But to me, um, I just don't think Jalen Hurts is the answer for Philly. But like I said, I could be 100% wrong. I'm not a hater of Jalen Hurts. I just think that he's not the answer uh, at quarterback for the team. Granted, I could be 100% wrong. Um, other than that, I just look at it from this standpoint. You've got Jalen Hurts in there. You don't know who they're going to bring in. Philly fans are probably going nuts right now. A lot of them are probably happy because a lot of them I've heard are not the biggest fans of Carson Wentz. But, you know, when they look at their roster, you don't really have any receivers or a reliable quarterback, you know, going forward. But then again, you know, like I said, Jalen Hurts could turn into a superstar. I don't know. But overall, I think that the Colts answered a lot of questions today for their team, and the Eagles left a lot of stuff on the table uh, unfinished. And uh, they've got a lot of work to do in both free agency and in the draft to get their offense better because right now their offense does not look good at all. From their running backs, uh, I heard that they're going to try to trade Zach Ertz. So Dallas Goddard, that does make... Their tight end's okay, but, you know, from wide receivers to running backs, it's going to be a tough sled for them for a little bit. So it's going to be very interesting to see what Philly does. So we'll see what happens. But like I said, the Colts, 
kind of made their decision, pulled the trigger on the trade. I think it's a great trade for them. If Carson Wentz can stay healthy and play the way he did with Frank Reich before, then the Colts are going to win this trade hand over fist. Um, unless Philly drafts uh, a Joe Montana-like person in the third round or second round next year. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to always uh, like and subscribe while watching. Um, be on the lookout for all our shows coming out soon with the free agency and the NFL draft coming up. And, uh, you know, obviously with the Raider Nation, any late-breaking Raider news. But we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Remember to like and subscribe. And we'll talk to you soon.